Hey there! Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the world of gaming monitors. Today, we've got something special in store for you. A comprehensive review of one of the best monitors out there. But before we get into the nitty-gritty details, we're going to do things a bit differently. Instead of just hearing my thoughts, we're going to bring in the real experts. The people who've actually experienced the monitor firsthand. Before we dive into the review, guess what? There's an amazing discount waiting just for you. And here's the best part. You'll discover the link to this fantastic deal in the description and the very first comment below the video. Now, let's not waste any more time. We've gathered feedback from a diverse group of people who've tried this amazing monitor. Starting with our first reviewer. This reviewer's first experience with the ASUS VG279Q was a significant departure from their previous monitors, which were 1080p 60Hz TN panels. They found the VG279Q to be their first experience with a refresh rate over 60Hz, an IPS panel, and variable refresh rate, FreeSync slash GS1C. They initially noticed a limited viewing angle from above, which was a significant adjustment. They found that the monitor's best viewing angles were when their eyes were about level with the bottom of the monitor or looking at it from below. They had to raise the monitor to reduce the washed out foggy angle. Lowering the brightness to around 23 in a dark room helped achieve a calm neutral picture, but they noticed some IPS glow in the bottom left corner. They also found that the monitor turned foggy when viewed from above, which was particularly bothersome when the monitor fell below their eye level when standing up. They experimented with different settings and modes, such as racing mode, to adjust the picture quality. They found that the SDR of contrast was genuinely full range, and the monitor's pixel density was not an issue. They were initially stuck at 60 Hz but were able to enable all refresh rates by selecting a different 1920 by 1080 option in the NVIDIA display options. Once they enabled GSWNC and set the monitor to 144 Hz, they were impressed by the smoothness and lack of tearing in fast-paced games. They also found that movies benefited from the larger screen, and web browsing was clear at 144 Hz. Despite some issues with viewing angles and IPS glow, they were happy with the monitor's overall performance and features. They recommended it to anyone looking for a high-quality monitor for home or office use. Great! Now let's see what our next reviewer has to say. This reviewer, a long-time gamer, sought a monitor that met their needs for picture quality, high refresh rate, and suitable resolution without requiring a powerful PC. While the built-in speakers fell short, they were acceptable as a temporary backup. Despite initially finding the physical buttons awkward, they adjusted quickly and found the OSD menus sufficiently customizable. Their only minor complaint was the monitor's behavior in low-power mode, which delayed waking until the computer reached the OS login screen. Quality control issues with their initial purchase were promptly addressed by Amazon support. However, subsequent attempts to reorder the monitor faced challenges, including damage during shipping and unavailability from both Amazon and third-party sellers. Ultimately, they purchased the monitor from a local retailer without issues. Despite these hurdles, they were satisfied with the monitor's performance and settled on optimal settings for their day-to-day -day use. Great! Now let's see what our next reviewer has to say. This reviewer highlights several pros and cons of the monitor they purchased. They praise its excellent picture quality, achieved through calibration with a Spider 5 Pro, and note its IPS panel with a 1080p resolution and 144Hz refresh rate. They compare it favorably to their previous Acer monitor in terms of contrast. However, they mention that the lower resolution is noticeable at 27 inches, though it benefits fast-paced shooters. They also encountered horizontal lines and system lockups, potentially due to driver issues. The ELMB mode, similar to NVIDIA's ULMB, disappointed them due to excessive ghosting. Despite this, they found minimal backlight bleed and IPS glow, particularly in the lower right corner. 
After exchanging the first monitor due to issues, they rated the replacement highly for its excellent colors and performance after calibration. They acknowledge minor backlight bleed but consider it the best 1080p monitor available for its color accuracy and high refresh rate, although they anticipate upcoming models with even higher refresh rates.